In this video, you will see the birth of the puppies from Berup. She started on Tuesday evening around 11 o'clock. She was sponsing, um, digging on my bed and constantly kind of restless. So we didn't sleep a lot. And on Wednesday morning around 5.30, I think, it really started. So she was digging and she got contractions and then it went pretty fast. I sent to my colleagues at 5.40 that it was really starting and at 8 minutes past 6 the first puppy came and um, at that moment I was still alone so I have filmed the first part but when it popped out I just threw my camera away. Uh, the first one was a pied boy. He was uh, the biggest one of the litter. He was 316 grams when he came out and he was doing fabulous. So, um, yeah. Then the second one I didn't have on camera. It was a black brindle boy and he was doing very good as well. And Berat was a super mom from the start so she was doing everything she needed to do so uh, these two were really fast 20, 20 minutes after the first one the second one came so that went really really well when i saw berup started giving birth i called my sister so she could come and she could film everything for me and um, she arrived and the third and the fourth uh, pop is on camera um, not as good as I hoped but I didn't want to um, force Berup into something so you can see number three is born here and number three was a red boy he's red fawn ish um, he's not that red as uh, Dre is but he's darker than Berup and he was uh, coming backwards, but he was doing fabulous as well. So three healthy puppies in one and a half hour, I think. So that was really fast. And she really yeah, did everything like it was in the books. And um, you may see that I just take the pups and do the first things already. That's my way of doing it. If you don't like it, that's totally fine with me. But this is the way I'm doing it. And if you don't feel comfortable with it, then just skip this part of this video or just skip the whole video. But this is how I do it. After the third pop, Berup decided to take a break from an hour. And after that hour, number four came. Um, in that time, she just took very good care of the puppies. And she, she was kind of relaxed, as far as you can be relaxed during labor. But yeah, here you can see she's taking care of them. As I wanted to keep a girl, I was kind of getting a bit stressed about I had already three boys out of Berup. And they were healthy, so I was very, very happy. But I hoped for at least one girl. In the perfect world, it would have been two girls. So around half past eight, the fourth uh, puppy came out. And as you can see, Berab is getting tired. Her hind legs are um, losing strength. Um, and that's normal because she already was in labor since the evening before. So that's very tiring for the dog. Um, but we were waiting now for what was coming out as we already had three different colors and that's the nice thing of this breed they can have so many colors and that's why it makes me sad that some breeders only focus on one particular color and here the puppy comes out and again this is how i do it if you do it in a different way i'm totally fine with that and Number four was a girl, so that was what I wanted, a girl, so I got a girl. Um, and then the waiting started, and I will 
film a sit down. Bereb was a super mommy from the start. And here you can see the four pups that came out. They were drinking well and Bereb was more relaxed. So this part of the labor went very, very well. And um, yeah, it was like a dream. The four pups in two and a half hours and um, they drank. They were all healthy, no uh, problems. So I was kind of happy. But um, yeah, I thought she was taking a break. But that break kept on going, kept on going, kept on going. So um, after some advice from others, I decided to go to the clinic. And um, yeah, I will tell the rest in a sit down for you. So after puppy number four came out, um, we thought Bert was having a break. And that's normal because the pups are high and they need to um, get down before they can come out. So we didn't worry at all. We thought, well, she's going to have a break. But that break lasted for one hour and nothing happened. For two hours, nothing happened. For three hours, nothing happened. For four hours, nothing happened. So I um, had contact with another breeder and the vets. And because Berop wasn't showing any signs of discomfort, we were like, yeah, well, let's wait. Because sometimes you see that dogs have a break, a huge break, and then the last puppy comes out very good. Um, and we knew there was another puppy. Because if I didn't know that, Maybe I had waited until the next day um, because maybe the next day she would show discomfort. I was watching the video and I was like, whoa, I look weird, but I didn't have my glasses on. So I continue again. So after six and a half hours, I decided to get on with the vet and the breeder I was contacting. It was best to go and um, let her be checked. Um, the only thing was uh, Bereb was not very tolerant um, towards other people anymore because she was very protective of her puppies. So I decided to go and I uh, took the x-ray alone because she would be less stressed if I did it alone. So that's why we decided to do it like that. And when we took the x-ray, we saw that the puppy was still high in the uterus. So it didn't come down anything so after discussing it with the vet the safest option for Berup at that moment was a c-section and i will be honest with you guys um i was pre prepared for uh dead puppies and stuff the only thing i really didn't want to do was a c-section so that was kind of a big deal for me um at that moment, I just made the decision, we're going to do it, and we did it. Um, and puppy number five came out, and after rubbing his back three times, it started screaming like a pig. So that was a good sign. Um, when Berup was done, he uh, f was fed already, and he was doing pretty fine. Um, Berup woke up very quickly, and she was... Uh, back on earth really quick after an hour she was like i'm gonna take care again and um, she was into her pups again and i took her home with the puppies and um, i was super tired because i didn't sleep a lot and i had to make a decision that i really didn't want to make because a c-section is not something that's easy on the body um, i just prefer to not have to do it um, but the complete labor went super well, only that last puppy just didn't do what it had to do. So I decided to not um, castrate her yet. Um, so she is still intact. Um, and I put it, the uh, pups and Berup in the whelping box and she was super chill and took very good care of them. And again, a night with not that much sleep. 
but that's part of the job here um and then that morning after everything was still going well um but then the last puppy just started blowing up and he was in a lot of pain and he was throwing up and um it was getting worse and worse and worse and that's when i decided i had to put him down so we have put him down but that was super stressful for bennett it was awful to see that dog was going crazy so that puppy was in the whelping box until i think um half past 10 in the evening so that's quite a long time and of course it is really sad to lose a puppy but i've seen better watching him and she took not uh, as much care of that puppy as the other four and she yeah i just saw her looking at him like am i going to kill you now or not so i already had my doubts um but seeing your dog um, experiencing so much stress is yeah it's the worst thing so that day was uh very hard on all of us i had not enough sleep i had to make decisions and a dog that was stressed out so that was not my best day um the day after better got more relaxed and i got more relaxed as well and that made me feel better again because i really had the first days that were was just hell on earth um to be honest, uh, all people think it's also nice, but the first two days it was terrible. The first four, four pups was uh, good, but afterwards it was not so fun anymore. Um, but that's part of it and that's okay. Um, and uh, day three already went better. Day four, now we're on day eight. The pups are eight days old and I can go for walks and uh, sports with Dean again and Bella was super relaxed, she's the best mom ever. So now it's all fun and a lot of love. So, And to end this video with some puppy love, I added this clip of the puppies and Bella today. She is a very good mom, she's doing her job in the best way possible because the puppies are growing every day um, the puppies aren't screaming they are quiet almost all day long so she keeps them very satisfied and um, yeah that means she is a very good mom so um, yeah it was a hard start for all of us but in the end we're on a cloud of love at the moment so i hope to see you on the next video bye bye